Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 10 of season 2 of Fruits Baskets. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh. My god, they're in a fireworks show. My god, why are you such an ass? Oh. Uh -huh. Did you not know? <laughs> <laughs> it's because you were having so much fun. Uh. <laughs> Yuki. Kisa. Damn, this summer trip went by so fucking quick. I mean, it's almost like, hey, their summer went by too quickly. Oh. <laughs> They're so cute, my baby. Ah. Uh. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, precious baby girl. Bubbly airhead. I don't know, I got a weird feeling something bad is gonna happen. I mean, it's interesting that we start on a good note in the beginning of this episode, but typically in some shows that I've seen, when you start out good in the beginning, then something bad is going to happen later on. I mean, I don't know what, or it's either that or I don't remember. I don't know. I mean, something's going to happen, good or bad. I don't think anybody's going to confess to her. I think that's more like later. <laughs> Where is our major now? You've changed too. Of course. Because a keto is a keto, no matter what. She'll always get angry over some, like, maybe, like, the littlest things, and that's one of the many things why I can't stand her. Mm 
Honestly, this arc went by too fucking fast. Mm -hmm. Shit. God, I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Girl, you don't need to see her. Just go the fuck home. Yeah. Fuck you. Mm -mm. Go. And you're just gonna take it out on her.
God damn it. Don't tell her. This fucking scum of a bitch. Like, Wouldn't you like to know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll find out soon. Two, you didn't really have to fucking scratch her though. I mean, damn. Bitch ass. Like, oh, God. I mean, this is the worst. Fuck you, like, oh my god, you fucking bitch. Oh my god, I can't. Just, oh, I hate her so fucking much, but I feel so bad for her. I 
funny. God, Harlem, you look so fucking good right now. Mmm, that's a meal right there. Thank you for the food. <laughs> oh, fucking Harlem. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is a perfect way to end the summer episode. I mean, still. Uh, I knew that ish was coming. Okay, but here's the one thing I do want to say about Kira real quick. Um, I think there's still more to the ish that they haven't led on. I like. I think what I'm going to do while this edits, I need to go back and look up something. Because there's something I'm forgetting. And I think I know what it is. And I don't want to say it because... If it is what I think it is, it's a, it's really, really big spoilers. So once this episode is done, I think I'm going to go look it up. Because it, it's something big. It's not, it's with the God thing, but then it's something else. And like I said, I don't want to talk about it. But her literally scratching the shit out of Toru. I didn't like that. Her beating Momiji up. Didn't like that either. Like, oh my God, she's such a bitch. But still, I pity her so fucking much because of the ish that she has to deal with. And I can't talk about it because it's big ass fucking spoilers about her. And, and it just, oh God. I, you know, I also want to talk about the other thing about the elephant in the room because slowly but surely, you're seeing it with those two. Akito <laughs> But, uh, of course, we can't talk about that yet. But, I mean, uh, I can't. I, I just... My my mind right now. But, God, she's such a bitch. And, I mean, I hate her. But it's just like... Oh, God. I mean... I just... Oh, God. I, I just... I don't know. I mean... How can you... Like, there, there's times where I've always wondered... No matter how many times, like, I look at scenes between her and Toru, how can you hate someone as kind and gentle and sweet as Toru? But, like, I get the reasons why, and is she's more of, she's more, Akito's more jealous of Toru, and it's because of so many other things that are in the story that I, like, of course can't talk about, because of the fact is, this is this that the third the, okay whatever but i love the fact that you know toru was just determined to break this curse and no can't talk about that <laughs> there's so many things i want to talk about but i mean we're either almost there or we're not there enough to the point where i can say yeah i can talk about this and such but i rather do like i did with my hero and talk when we get to that certain part i still really um because i don't remember if this happens to uh, for haru and rin to have a conversation again with each other i mean even though now they're like broken up and everything and how haru wants to do everything in his power to get rin back and just i like the biggest thing is i want them to do and like i said i don't really remember um like a the, the head family is going to do something. Of course, you know, Akito's going to do something. But I feel like Toru um, and everyone else, they're probably going to maybe set up an intervention for her, maybe. I don't think that's possibly going to happen. But I feel like, you know, slowly but surely, Toru and everyone else, and a little bit more, it's going to be a little bit of Haru, in my opinion, also, as well. They've already chipped that wall on her a little bit. Like, she's, but she still has that full wall. There's, like, a little, like, a teeny tiny thing that's right there. And by the end of this, I mean, ugh, it's gonna be so good. Like, she's the best fucking girl, and I just want another episode on her. Because, I mean, the shit that she goes through, and, oh my god, <laughs> I just, I want to talk about it so bad, but I can't. 
<laughs> but yeah, I just really want to look up on that Akito thing and make sure that I'm right about that. But this was a really good episode. Just Akito, like, God, sometimes you just want to be like, bitch, just shut the fuck up and go sit on the sidelines. Yeah, you, you know, you the god, you the leader, bullshit and stuff. But sometimes I just want to, I want Toru to talk down to her. I mean, yeah, the fact is that Toru gave her an order and she doesn't like that. But still, I think Akito needs to be put in her place. And there are certain people who can do it, but they're afraid to because they don't want to get hurt by her. I get that. Because, I mean, I'm not going to say she's an abuser, but she she hits the shit out of, like, anybody in this family. And I'm like, couldn't be me. I'd be end up killing your ass. It's just me. That's just me. If if it, if she was a part of my family, I'm just saying. Because, like, oof. Because I can't stand her. Because she's one of them characters that has got to freaking go. I mean, ooh. Like, if I could write a big, long comment or essay on why I can't stand her, we'd be here for a while. <laughs> But like I said, this was a really good episode. I'm glad that they ended on fireworks. I don't really remember what's going to happen next, but honestly, I can't wait. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction review towards episode 10 of season 2 of Fruits Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Monday for episode 11. Bye, guys.